Hi guys, it's me Margot, back with another Oasis Springs remodel video. Today I'm doing Agave Abode. This is one of the smaller lots in the southeastern area of Oasis Springs. So this was a pre-existing house. I'm just remodeling it. And as always, I keep the essence of the home and just kind of make it more margarita-y. So yes, this will actually be home to Darlene Smart. She is a self-proclaimed cat lady. And yeah, so you will meet her if you stick around till the end of the video for the creative sim portion. So for now, I am just kind of fixing up the outside. The color scheme was a little wonky, like the roof was one color, the banisters were green. It was just weird. Um, it didn't seem cohesive to me. So I went ahead and made it cohesive and kind of changed up the landscaping a little bit. Typically, I like all my landscaping to be like symmetrical and kind of like in one area, but I've noticed that the way Oasis Springs kind of works is kind of more spaced out sporadic landscaping. So I try to stick with that, even though that's not my instinct, but I want the town to look cohesive. So working on the inside, this is a small two bedroom and one of the entire bedrooms, uh, the one up front there is going to be dedicated to just her cats. She has two cats and you'll meet them at the end um, in the creative sim portion along with Darlene. But yeah, so for the most part, just um, some color on the walls, normal wood tones, things like that, that are pretty common in Oasis Springs. The kitchen is really small and typically I would make it quite a bit bigger and do it that way, but I decided to go ahead and keep it as is and just work with what I had. It's not too terribly small, but I don't like having them walled in like that. It's not my favorite, but you know, can't be perfect. So the dining area is right here when you walk in. Again, not ideal for me personally, but you know, I just kind of wanted to stick with the normal layout of the house. And yeah, she's a single gal with a lot of cats, didn't have a lot of money to remodel is what I'm imagining. So that's how that worked. Um, I really hate the dining set. <laughs> I hate the chairs uh, or just not the chairs themselves, but the way it looks. But I went ahead and stuck with it because I'm just imagining she got like maybe hand-me-down furniture or something and it's not perfect. Doesn't really go with the, the vibe of the house, but that's okay. I do like the living room setup though, with a little accent pillow and the kind of like wooden uh, upholstered, Furniture I think is really cute and I did add in some mid-century modern vibes in the living room to kind of tie in with the dining set with those mid-century modern chairs and her little desk area over here I've got the chair kind of tying in with the yellow pillow on the on the living room chair and she's got her little office space over here. Uh, I don't know what career she's going to have. She's creative, so maybe she'll just be a painter. She does have a little easel there, so that's probably the career I'll put her in. And then we're moving on to her bedroom, just some really, really dark wood tones with green, the lighter green. I love that combination. I think it looks so relaxing. It kind of reminds me of what you would see maybe in a spa or something like that, and I think it's really pretty. So just a little sitting area in her room, nothing crazy. She devotes all of her time and attention to her cats, so you'll see her cat's room here in a second. It is very over the top and yeah. Uh, I do have the litter box in the bathroom though. I just, if I had a cat, that's where I would put the litter box in the bathroom probably or somewhere, somewhere like that. I had a cat growing up and we put the litter box in our heater room in the downstairs area. Um, it was really nice because you couldn't smell the litter box anywhere in the house unless you were in the heater room. So that was nice. And then my dad like cut a hole in the wall for a little cat door <laughs> for my cat. Um, but anyways, this is the cat room. I literally put every piece of cat furniture I think that's available in the cat room. Um, and then they've got cute little things on the walls like it's outside and little cat decals. I just think it's so cute. And their little calico cat bed in the middle there. It's just such a cute little cat room. And then I also put this cat chair on the porch so that if anybody wasn't sure, she is indeed the town cat lady. So her house is cat friendly. So I don't know if you've ever had a cat friendly house, but it makes stray cats just like show up during the day. And they usually leave at night from what I've noticed, but your house will literally just be full of cats, even if you don't have any cats yourself. So I think it's kind of funny and um, to do that for this. So she only has two cats herself, but during the day there's usually at least seven or eight cats in her house. So anyways, this is Darlene. Darlene Smart, she's, She's a cute, like classy lady, you know, very um, stylish and, and whatever, but she just, she just freaking loves cats, man. 
so yeah i think she's cute this is one of my favorite hairs well not this one the one before it is one of my favorite um african like natural hairstyles that was definitely something that i thought was really really lacking in the sims when you know in the like base game pack or even the first few expansions and game packs was natural looking african hair whether it's like cornrows or just the the kind of curly hair or whatever like that i just felt like it was really lacking but they've definitely stepped up the game with that which is great and i love this one with the big bun in the back i think it looks so cute and the braids up front it's one of my favorites for sure um yeah so that's her it takes me so much longer to do this i feel like because of the extra two outfits but i love them i love the cold weather stuff I do wish you could toggle it off because I feel like it's really weird when it's cold, especially in Oasis Springs. Like, I don't feel like it would ever be cold there or like snowing, but whatever. Maybe you can and I just haven't figured out how to do it. Uh, but anyways, that's Darlene and this is her first cat. This is Wendy. She will be a calico in a second. Um, just a cute little gal. Um, yeah, just, that's Wendy. And then this is uh, Sylvester Smart. And that is actually the name of my first cat. His name was Sylvester. And he looked just like uh, this Sylvester. He looked like the cat from Sylvester and Tweety. And that's why I named him Sylvester. He's a tuxedo cat. And I gave him a cute little red bow. And I just think it's, he looks like he's wearing a little tuxedo. So anyways, here are the before and afters just really quickly. It's a nice small house. Doesn't take super long. And I think this might be the last house uh, before I move into doing the, com uh, the community lots. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I kind of got sick of doing houses, so I moved on to community lots. I have the videos done, I just need to edit them and, and do a voiceover for them, but, um, let me know in the comments if you don't mind a, um, like, music dubbed Oasis Springs remodel, because I could definitely crank them out a lot faster if I didn't have to do a voiceover for all of them. I don't mind doing voiceovers, but it definitely takes longer, and I have to make sure the house is quiet, and I share a game room with my boyfriend who's gaming quite a bit. So anyways, let me know if you wouldn't mind because I could definitely crank them out a lot faster if that was the case. But anyways, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There are links down below to other related playlists and I will see you in my next video. Bye.